Okay, let's dive right in. You shared a really uh, intriguing stack of sources with us, all centered around this, well, pretty bizarre event that's grabbed a lot of attention online. It's quite the collection reports, social media bits, yeah, even some historical context woven in there. Absolutely. So today we're taking a deep dive into what people are calling the Bugosphere mystery. This incident from uh, early 2025. That's right. Involving reports of a strange metallic object sighted, maybe even crashing near Buga, Colombia, and some really unusual environmental effects found right there next to it, specifically um, some really weirdly discolored grass. Mm -hmm. The core of the mystery definitely, as laid out in these sources, it seems to lie with this object and that, that puzzling patch of vegetation right beside it. Right. And our mission really is to unpack everything you've given us. We're going to look at what's being reported about this Bugosphere thing, examine the claims, the visual evidence people are sharing, like those images you sent from X, you know, formerly Twitter. Yeah, those images are key. And explore the different angles and theories that have popped up based only on this material. That includes some, well, intriguing, if maybe speculative, links to radiation and, you know, the whole UFO phenomenon. We'll basically be your guides through this information, sticking just to what's in these sources you provided. Exactly. So according to the reports you gathered, the story seems to kick off around March 2nd, 2025. Initial sightings, maybe a crash even. Right. The early reports. But the thing that really brought it to wider, like global attention, at least based on these sources, was a specific X post, user at Truthpull X. That post was June 8th, 2025. Yeah, that social media post really seems to be the trigger point when it jumped from maybe a local thing to this uh, much bigger online conversation. Okay, let's unpack this then. Started with what the sources actually say about the discovery itself. What happened in Buga? Well, based on these reports, it happened in a grassy field near Buga, Colombia place known for its basilica, apparently. The initial event, reported back on March 2nd, was a sighting and what some folks described as a crash. And they found something on the ground. Yes, the sources describe finding a metallic sphere. It's detailed as being roughly the size of a large soccer ball, but the description gets uh, more interesting. Oh. It apparently has this polished surface, but it's covered in intricate engravings. Mm -hmm. The reports sort of characterize the design as this blend of ancient artistry, but also something looking very futuristic. Wow, okay. A polished sphere, intricate engravings, that detail alone is pretty striking, isn't it? It really is. And alongside this sphere, that visual evidence you mentioned, the stuff highlighted in that key X post, it included images of the sphere and that patch of discolored grass right beside it. Exactly. Those pictures were absolutely central to the post that got everyone talking. The sources also mentioned some initial accounts, you know, from local residents who supposedly stumbled upon it. Uh -huh. Some apparently recalled hearing a low hum or seeing a brief flash of light connected with it. Hmm. So it starts small locally, maybe some whispers, and then just explodes online. That at Truth Pollock's post from June 8th, with that specific ID number you gave us, right. that's presented as the moment it really went viral. Precisely. And that initial social media buzz, it actually prompted other users to start digging right there on X. For instance, the sources mentioned users like at Calixtra and at Finley Poe apparently using things like Google Earth to try and pinpoint a location. Hmm. They even shared specific coordinates. Right, adding that layer of like citizen investigation, even if it's informal. And one key thing the sources keep pointing out is the silence from officials. Yeah, that's a big one. A definite lack of confirmed statements from Colombian authorities or you know any formal scientific groups about this thing. As of when the sources were gathered, so June 9th, 2025, there's just no official word mentioned that verifies the object or the incident. Which brings us to maybe the most talked about piece in these sources, mm -hmm. that really curious case of the discolored grass. Ah, yes, the grass. This patch of brown, sort of wilted-looking grass right next to the sphere. It's a central puzzle piece, for sure. Stands out visually against the green grass all around it. And the suggestion, floated by at Truthpolex in that first big post, is that this discoloration might be, and I'm quoting here, imbued with radiation. That's the claim that was put out there. And to sort of explore this idea, the sources bring in comparisons to Chernobyl, you know, where there was massive radiation contamination. Right. They reference a 2019 BBC article noting some plants showed resilience in Chernobyl, citing research by Mousseau and others. Suggesting life can sometimes persist, even with radiation. 
But then the sources also point to a 2020 study in Frontiers, which found radiation can actually slow down decomposition and cause discoloration in plants. Exactly, which presents a known phenomenon that could potentially explain the grass and buga if radiation was actually involved. Yeah. But, and this is really critical, the sources stress this. That's it. While science shows radiation can do this to plants, the link in buga is purely speculative in these reports. There are no direct measurements, no Geiger readings, nothing like that mentioned. Ah, okay. So what's fascinating is how quickly these scientific concepts get pulled in to interpret something unexplained, even when there's no direct evidence yet. Mm -hmm. And the sources capture the skepticism too, right? Like Dr. Julia Mossbridge, quoted in the Jerusalem Post article you included, she's mentioned suggesting something much simpler. Yeah, she apparently suggested it could just be an art project someone put there, not some alien tech or mysterious radiation source. That's certainly a more uh, terrestrial explanation. It definitely cuts through some of the more out there theories. And the online chat reflects this demand for proof, too. The sources mention a user at Oscar 881-732-3565 asking about some promised research paper that was supposed to provide data, maybe scientific readings. And the sources say, as of June 9th anyway, that paper hasn't shown up publicly. Right. The absence of that data just kind of fuels the skepticism and really highlights the gap between these online claims and anything verifiable. Yeah. It's also worth mentioning the sources bring up other simple explanations being discussed online, like user at Michelle Roy suggesting the grass could just be discolored from a common weed killer, like Roundup. A much more grounded idea for the brown patch. Okay, so you've got this mysterious sphere, its weird design, the puzzling grass with this speculative radiation angle, and a whole lot of questions just hanging there, mm -hmm. especially with no official data. Exactly. So naturally, this whole thing sent people straight into theory land, didn't it? Oh, absolutely. What's really interesting is how fast the Buga Sphere event got tied into those broader discussions about UFOs and UAPs, unidentified aerial phenomena. The sources show it just instantly reignited those conversations online. And the sources even give us a bit of a historical thread for this kind of speculation going way back to Nikola Tesla. Yes, they reference reports, like one from the New York Herald back in 1895, covering Tesla's electromagnetic experiments. The sources point out these experiments hinted at potentially radical tech, maybe even stuff defying gravity. Wow. Which they say later became sort of part of the inspiration for modern UFO speculation. So the idea of unconventional, maybe super advanced technology isn't just a modern thing. Not at all. And the sources mention X-Threads. Maybe one involving it, Sergio 94679493, drawing parallels to Tesla's ideas. Some users even proposing really complex stuff, like a closed time loop system to explain the sphere. It really frames that core debate you see running through the sources. Is this something truly beyond our current grasp, maybe extraterrestrial? Or could it be some form of very advanced, perhaps secret human technology? Right. On one side, the sources show people leaning towards alien origins, pointing to the sphere's unique design and that uh, speculative radiation hint as possible clues. Mm -hmm. And pushing back, you have the skeptics arguing for more down-to-earth explanations. A deliberate hoax. Maybe that art installation idea like Dr. Mossberg suggested, some natural but odd phenomenon, a chemical spill, or even secret military tech. Though, as the sources kind of imply, that detailed engraving and polished look of the sphere does make some of the really simple explanations, like just a random hoax or a natural object, maybe a bit harder to easily explain away. That's a fair point. And the sources clearly show the massive role social media played. It's the engine just amplifying all these theories and really shaping the public story around the boogosphere, often happening in real time. Which leads us nicely to the state of any actual investigation, or maybe the apparent lack of one, that the sources keep highlighting. Yeah, the reports consistently note that any formal scientific investigation seems to be lagging way behind the intense public interest whipped up online. That promised research paper we talked about comes up again here. The sources note its absence just raises more questions about the initial claims that started all this. Exactly. If there's a solid data, why hasn't it surfaced? The sources also point out there's no confirmed involvement mentioned from established UAP study groups. They bring up organizations like the Galileo Project. Oh, yeah, I've heard of them. Which... Wikipedia notes, back in May 2025, is actively pursuing rigorous UAP investigation. Yet their name doesn't pop up in connection with Buga in the info available here. So without formal science bodies or authorities stepping in to confirm the find or release data, those skeptical viewpoints seem pretty plausible, right? 
at least within the discussion presented in these sources. Absolutely. The sources kind of summarize these possibilities. Hoax, art piece, chemical spill, natural event, military tech. Without hard data, things like verified Geiger readings, detailed soil analysis from that grass patch, it's really tough to rule any of them out for sure. And the sources state clearly that crucial scientific data just isn't publicly available as of June 9th. Leaves the door wide open for speculation, doesn't it? It really does. Okay, finally, let's touch on the broader cultural resonance and maybe future implications this incident might have, as mentioned in the sources. Well, the Bugosphere didn't just appear in a vacuum. The sources place it within Colombia's existing history and sort of lore around UFO sightings. It adds another chapter, if you will, to unexplained events in that region. And the social media reactions are incredibly varied, as the sources show. You get serious engagement, praise from users like Atlas252, but then also moments of just pure online humor, like user at John R 777 x making a joke, linking it to the soccer star Messi. Yeah, yeah. It really shows how these events can mix serious curiosity with that sort of lighthearted online culture. Totally. And this connects the Buga incident to that bigger global trend we've seen lately growing public and even official interest in UAPs. Spurred by things like those Pentagon reports, including the 2021 one the sources mention. It feels like another data point in that expanding conversation around the world. The sources also briefly wonder how incidents like this, whatever their final explanation turns out to be, might affect future funding for scientific UAP research. Yeah, and maybe shift public attitudes towards the possibility of life beyond Earth. Right. Events that tap into the unknown, especially with compelling, shareable pictures like these, they just keep capturing the public imagination. They really do. So pulling it all together from the sources you shared with us. The Bugosphere is still very much a compelling mystery as of early June 2025. At its heart is the report of this unique metallic object found after a reported sighting or crash. Accompanied by that really perplexing patch of discolored grass with its speculative but totally unproven link to radiation. And just swirling around it is this whirlwind of theories, everything from alien tech and advanced human stuff to hoaxes and art projects, all fueled and amplified like crazy by social media. But the sources keep bringing it back to the same point, don't they? Yeah. The lack of hard scientific data and official confirmation means the mystery, for now, just continues. So many questions still unanswered. Absolutely. The puzzle pieces are kind of scattered there, but the full picture is definitely missing. Which leaves us, and you listening, with a pretty powerful question to think about. One that these sources really bring into focus. In this age where images and theories about weird events like the Bugosphere can just zip around the globe instantly, often with very little initial checking. Mm. How do we as individuals just trying to figure out what's real navigate that tricky space between an intriguing possibility suggested by a clue like, say, discolored grass and the absolute need for solid, rigorous scientific evidence? What does this Bugosphere story tell us, maybe, about our own deep eagerness to find answers in the unexplained, especially when the information flies by so fast? That's a really thought-provoking challenge for anyone trying to stay informed today, isn't it? It truly is. Well, thank you for sharing this really fascinating set of sources and letting us take this deep dive with you.